Hello and welcome to the video for Tuesday, April the 28th. This is going to be for fourth grade and our second lesson working with uh, finding angles. So let's go ahead and take a look at our unlock the problem here. Um, so to start with, we are going to be working with a picture of a protractor um, that already has some lines on it and we're trying to figure out what the angle of this person's arms are. So and this just kind of gives us a step-by-step -step example of what we could do. And so we are going to point, uh, put the uh, whole portion of it um, with the vertex and the center point here. And that's going to uh, give us, uh, make sure we line it up with the uh, 180 degree mark to make sure that we have a straight line and then we can go this direction. So, um, you're going to notice on most protractors that there's going to be a top and bottom. And so the top part where this one is measuring around this direction. And so it would be 60 degree mark if we were starting from here and going to here. However, we're not doing that. Um, so we would look at the bottom mark and that starts with zero here and then goes all the way around to here for 120. And so our answer for that one would be 120 degrees. And so just to give you an example, if I pull, if I can get my ruler to pull up and I were to line this up right here, that does give us 60 degrees, which matches the 60 degrees here. So my uh, manufactured way to get through this, um, I can only go up to 90 degrees. So I get zero. Uh, which gives me my straight and then I can go up to 90 degrees. So I will have to kind of um, use uh, some engineering and then some math sense. So if I can only go up to 90 degrees, it would give me my 60 degree point. But I have to know that I should have started from here and I'm going to have 180 degrees to work with. Um, so that means I would have had to have gone 120 degrees to get to the point that marks 60 degrees on that. Um, so when we were working with circles, everything's going to be 360. We are going, um, as the total, we are only working with half of a circle when we're using a protractor, which means that would only give us 180 degrees that we can possibly work with. So what they want us to do for the activity, um, which we are not going to do at the moment, um, is to draw something. Uh, actually, I could do this one really quick. Um, and show you how this would work. So I'm going to go ahead and zero this out. And then I'm going to use the center portion here to go ahead and make a straight line. And so now I'm going to make my angle open up towards this. So I am going to go to 82 degrees. Put my starting spot right here and then I'm going to go ahead and draw my line. So if I were to do that, and then I'm going to make the ruler go away. Um, we don't have quite a straight line. We're just a little bit short. That would give us a measurement for 82. I realized I made that line a little bit too long. So what you would do on this is you would plot your points and then you would go around this way find where 82 would be, you would put a dot and then you would rotate this sideways and then use this part like a straight edge uh, to go ahead and uh, connect your line uh, to get that. So um, that would be the technique that they would want you to use there. Uh, so number one on share and show, we have everything given for us. Um, now, one of the things that will be difficult is to actually make sense of this because as clear as it will on your page uh, because of the way that I had to get this. So to start with, we're going to place the center of the protractor on point B. We are going to align point B and C with the um, zero slash 180 degree mark. And so um, you can see on this one, here's a zero and then you have 180 degrees. We're going to make sure that that's lined up read where um, 
it's going to intersect with the same scale. So we are looking at the top portion here and that is going to, uh, this is going to be point A intersects with that. So the measurement of the angle is going to be where we get for point A and that should be roughly 65 degrees. Um, number three, we are going to go ahead and look and we know that what we are going to have is going to be larger than a 90 degree angle because it is not, it's farther open than a straight line would be here. So we're probably looking at something around the 100 or so degree mark. Um, let's find out what we have. So again, I'm going to have to start How do I want to do this? So here would be my starting point, and then I'm going to try to figure out what we are working with here. So I am 13 degrees away from 90, so I would plus 13 and it looks like I got something that would be about 103. Um, so if you get something that's similar to that but slightly different, again, like that's perfectly fine. You didn't do it wrong. Um, we're working with the tools that we have. So I ended up with 103. Um, so I would take 90 plus the 13 degrees I was away from 90 and add it to that because of the way that I'm having to do that. If you were using a normal protractor, um, you would find that it should fall somewhere right around in here, and that would work just fine. Whatever you get, as long as you're in the, like between 100 and 105 degrees, um, you're probably okay. If you ended up with like 130, you probably need to go back and check where everything worked out. Um, so for number five, they want us to draw an angle that would be 78 degrees. We can do that, um, actually. <laughs> uh, that would be really close uh, to what I started with, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give my straight line first. And so I'm gonna use this as my straight line, and then I'm going to rotate till I get to 78 degrees. And again, I'll explain how you would do that in just a moment. So it should give me something like this. Now for you at home, um, I would say to draw your straight line and then you are going to circle around until you get to 78 degrees, put your mark um, and uh, I open mine up from this direction. You could do it the other way as well. So you follow around till you get to 78, put your dot, rotate it sideways and then draw your straight line. Um, so on your own, uh, the angle for this one is going to be much larger than 90 degrees. It should be at least halfway between uh, 90 degrees and 180, which would be our um, straight line for 180. Um, so let's see what we've got. So I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit, see what I can come up with. So I'm coming up with uh, 27 degrees away from being a straight line. Uh, so 180 minus uh, 27 would give me 153. So anywhere between 150 and 155 uh, should be a good um, measurement for that. Uh, let's see, for number nine, they want us to draw another angle. We can do that real quick. And again, we're gonna start by drawing our straight line. I'll actually make it small this time. And then you're gonna follow your protractor around, either going this way or this way. Um, this time I'll go this direction and make it so the angle is going this way. Um, not like that, I won't. I'm gonna to get to 67 and then put my spot where it looks like it should go. 
and then I'll go ahead and draw my angle. So that would give me uh, 67 degrees going this direction. Uh, number 11, they want us to draw an obtuse angle, and then they want you to label the measurement of the angle. I'm going to go ahead and make this guy out here. So again, we're working with a situation where we are going to have a larger than 90 degree angle. So uh, what's going to end up happening with that is I am going to make an angle that is then going to open up this direction. And actually, I'll just go ahead and do this. So I'm 15 degrees away. That would give me a measurement angle of 180 minus 15, which would be 165. And so the measurement of this would be 165 degrees. Um, number 13, draw an angle with a measurement of zero. That would be if you were looking at the protractor. Actually, I'm going to go back to the protractor um, that was on this page. If I zoom in really, really closely, um, here is a measurement of zero. So zero and 180 would be the same thing. Um, and that was not what I wanted. <laughs> Sorry about that. So to draw an angle uh, with a measurement of zero, it would be a straight line. As you can see from looking at um, the tool that I've got. So this is an angle of zero. And if I started at this point and then I didn't raise it any, then it would still be zero. So as I rotate it, that would increase the measurement of the angle. So if I were to draw a line now, I would get an angle of 10. Um, without that, it would stay at zero. So that would be the explanation that I would give for that. So for the homework, um, they want you to um, use a protractor. I'm going to give you a guess that this is probably going to be 90 degrees, even though they didn't put this in. Um, for number four, um, you can again just draw one for number six. We're going to have a measurement for this, which is going to be much smaller than 90 degrees. Uh, number eight, find an angle at home and measure the angle if you are working um, with a laptop at home. What you can do is measure the angle and hold the protractor up to your laptop at whatever angle it is. Mine is, um, as I'm looking at it, probably about uh, 95 degrees. I have it open a little bit more uh, than um, straight 90 degrees and then classify that angle. So you could also make, if I wanted to use an iPad, I can just go ahead and hold it open like this and then put my protractor up there and figure out what what the angle would be so you get to choose what you want to do for that however easy or difficult that you want to make it so if i wanted to uh find in the angle of my um, laptop or the um, computer desk that my laptop is sitting on that would also work so and then one and two on the back we're going to try to measure so i'm going to give you something um, in Google Classroom that you can use to kind of hold up to the screen to help you with that portion uh, to make it a little bit easier for you. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom. Again, um, this is not, we're not looking for and there's going to be a little bit of wiggle room on everything, uh, even the examples that we were working on, just because we don't have all of the tools available to be able to make it as exact as we might be able to otherwise. So hope you have a great day. Uh, the next video for homework will come out on Wednesday and then our next lesson will be on Thursday. So hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.